Barney's Limited founder, Tara Hill, began making Barney's horse treats to befriend an injured horse she purchased at an auction after outbidding an abattoir. After nursing the horse back to health, Tara was diagnosed with breast cancer and began her own journey to recovery, leaning on the thoroughbred mare for comfort and companionship. I took her home and I wanted to befriend her, so I stopped at the local um, horse store and I bought whatever cheat treats they had and apples and carrots and uh, she didn't like any of them and of course she was quite upset and she was she was heard and we were waiting for a vet and uh, I decided at that, that time that I was a farm girl and I could probably make something that she would enjoy and I could befriend her. The treats she made for the horse are available in hundreds of tax shops across Canada and are still handmade. Barney's produces 10 products for horses and recently introduced a homemade dog jerky that is available at hundreds of pet retailers across the country. And one of the things that uh, has been my mission from the beginning uh, was to have something that was easy to give medicine and, and especially worming, which is difficult when you're a horse owner. So I approached Algoma and said, can I use your apple pulp and could we dry it so that we could have a, a treat that obviously would store very well on the shelf, but you could add water to and fluff it back up because we dehydrate it. If you can get it into a substance and it stays, it's, it's more effective. As it grew, the operation moved from Tara's kitchen to an Oshawa facility. Immediate plans include establishing a facility south of the border and introducing Barney's products to the United States. The company is also planning to expand its dog treats line. We secured most of the global pet stores across Canada. We have several independent stores as well, and they're carrying both the dog and horse treats. I believe we're at 680 stores now across Canada, uh, with our newest addition being PetSmart. Tara was the first entrepreneur in Canada to be endorsed by all members of CBC's Dragon's Den, earning her the nickname Dragon Slayer among friends. It was a great marketing opportunity. Uh, pretty scary. Uh, I thought at one point when I was walking across the plank that what have you got yourself into now, girl? She has been featured in numerous magazines and newspapers. Tara has served as a mentor to students in the provincial government's summer company program and at UOIT. We support local rescues such as the Jack Russell Terrier uh, Association of Canada and also the, like, the Westies in Need. Barney's has earned numerous awards and takes pride in giving back, making welcome donations to organizations like Windreach Farm, which provides programs for those with intellectual, physical, and mental health disabilities, and Long Run, an organization that fosters and finds home for retired racehorses. It currently employs three part-time employees with various disabilities. Keep the faith, and really, with hard work, anything is possible.